This is Norte, that's all the numbers we talk about in the pre-fees come from this. But in Canyarac au Sur, which is, this is a four kilometer trend, so these are about two kilometers apart. Um, that also has a new resource, which I'll get to in one minute, but I just want to show you our footprint of the project. There's no communities living, no families living anywhere where the copper is. And we're now going to have a footprint that's really kind of in this area. And um, whereas before it could have been a little bit bigger using a valley over here and such, we'll have a crusher down here and then a conveyor system that comes to the southwest and then up to a plant site up here. And because the plant site will be up here between Canyarac Sur and what is now a target of Quebrada Verde, we have no drill holes yet, um, that would, you don't need huge deposits here to make them economic when you've already built a plant based on, on Norte. Um, and then let me get into the actual, so this is what Canyarac Sur looks like, that's where we've drilled the 15 holes, plant site up here, and then the resource on sewer that we now have. And and I I mentioned we've we've drilled 15 holes, or the 15 holes, yeah, 15 holes um, we've drilled in Canyarac Sur that this resource is based on. That's not all the story. We haven't drilled off the deposit yet. So that's why we've been kind of holding back from doing a resource calculation because we weren't sure we already had something significant and we didn't want the world to think that's all that's there. It's not, but I can't say it's going to be doubled or it's going to be tripled or it's going to be another one and a half this. I, I just can't say yet until you, you know, complete your drilling. But the point is already we have 2.2 billion pounds of copper and, and a million ounces of gold and some silver and some molly in Canyarac Sur. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.